Welcome to the Conestoga College Robotics and Automation Capstone Final Project. This video is brought to you by the ACE Automation Team. Special thanks to all our sponsors listed. Our cell design consists of five unique stations. The paper counter station, the paper stack forming station, the hole drilling station, the clip on binding station, and the box forming, shrink wrapping, and case sealing station. At station one, you select the style of paper, the paper stack size, and the color of the cover desired by the customer and begin the overall process. For station two, the front and back covers travel down the conveyor where the vision system detects the logos. We use the Cognex camera signal which is directly coded into the PLC so that when the logo is detected, the robot is ready to pick up the cover. While the paper is being counted at station one and the vision system check is completed, the Fanuc robot picks and places the back cover on the first forming table. Once the stack of paper is completed, the ABB robot picks up the stack using our specially designed grippers and transfers it over to the forming table where the back cover is present. Now that the stack of paper has been placed on the back cover, the Fanuc robot picks and places the front cover. The whole assembly is then transferred to the next forming table. The HMI indicates that the transfer has been completed and the next process can begin. At station 3, the Cuckoo robot picks up the stack and places it at the drilling machine. Here, the stack becomes aligned and the machine proceeds to drill four equally spaced holes for the clips. This process is indicated on the HMI. Now that the holes are drilled, the notebook is ready for the clips to be applied. A walking beam is used to store and supply the parts, pre-opened to secure the notebook pages. The walking beam is pneumatically operated. An electrical signal from the PLC starts and stops the process, but the movement and timing are controlled by pressure. Once the clip is secured, the KUKA robot passes the notebook on to the next station. When the process begins at Station 1, Station 5's case packer simultaneously forms the box. But for the purpose of the simulation and clarity, the box is being formed now. The case packer uses a variety of mechanical and pneumatically actuated cylinders to form the box. Additionally, the box is sealed with glue so that it stays intact. When the box is fully formed and the clips are finally added, the notebook is ready for the next stage of the process. The shrink wrapper. The shrink wrapper uses a cellophane wrap to seal the notebook with the use of hot knives placed at the bottom for splicing, and crimpers to separate the cello for individual notebooks. Once the shrink wrapping is complete, the notebook is ready for the next stage case packing and case sealing. 
This stage is completed by the use of a gantry system. When a notebook passing on the infeed conveyor of the case packer is detected by a photo eye, the gantry will lower and pick it up with a vacuum gripper, where it will be transferred to the formed box. Every other notebook's orientation is alternated so that the bindings are not all present on one side. This is done for the purpose of maximizing the number of notebooks packaged into the box. For the purpose of demonstration, we have shown you the first and last notebook being placed. Now that the box is full, it is ready to be sealed completely. First, the top flaps are folded down and sealed shut with glue. Pneumatically actuated side plates fold the top flaps of the box down and momentarily hold them in place to ensure complete adhesion. With the box being fully sealed and packaged with notebooks, it is ready to export to the consumers.